Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and welcome to Ron's Weight Loss Journey. Well today we're going to create a whole new segment on my channel called Keto Cooking with Ron on a new playlist that I'm going to be creating. Today we're going to be making a uh, French style uh, egg loaf uh, consisting of eight eggs, one block of cream cheese, and a stick of butter. And for the cinnamon taste we're going to put a a little bit of cinnamon in and a little bit of nutmeg in and a little bit of granulated swirl of sugar probably about a tablespoon and uh, everything is optional by the way guys and so what you'll need for this for tools is a some type of a blender for what we're going to use for our purposes we're going to use a ninja bullet blender and I've made this many many times before and I'm confident how it's going to come out now what you do is you're going to uh, just follow me along when I move the camera into the kitchen and uh, you'll be fine. So when you put eight eggs in first, the block of cream cheese, you're gonna put the um, stick of butter in, and you're gonna, uh, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg, and you're gonna mix it all in together really well, and on a preheated oven, 350 degrees, and then you're gonna take a some type of a loaf pan or a brownie pan, and spray the bottom with a little bit of cooking oil, or add some a little bit of parchment paper, cook it for about 35 40 minutes or until it's done and you'll know when it's done but just keep an eye on it and then you pull it out and you'll uh, let it cool now I had this question comment asked me before about the uh, egg loaf she tried making it and it deflated and it's perfectly fine it will deflate but because it, it has a lot of density in it and I like how it looking in the uh, rustic look when you add cinnamon on top for a little bit of uh, taste and uh, and then I'm going to use some uh, sweetened uh, some um, uh, sugar-free uh, maple syrup. Now I have the Vermont sugar-free maple syrup, not really the best choice, but I mean it's sugar-free and it without less than half the cat carbs. Now when you have this completed, it, it, it'll be kind of like spongy or eggy, like almost like a custard type uh, egg loaf, but it's perfectly fine. And then what you could probably do if you wanted to, you could probably take them and slice them up a little bit and um, or I am up like, like an actual French toast because I don't have time today because I have to go into work for four hours at 11. So I thought I'd film this out this morning and cook it and have it when I come home and have me a little bit before I leave so I'm not so hungry when I'm working. And yeah, like, you know, it's going good. Um, I'm down to 214 pounds. Had a, another clothing victory yesterday. I went up our favorite store, Coles in our city. And I bought uh, two pairs of size 36 pants from being in a size 60 last year. So if that is the motivation enough for you guys to lose weight, um, you know, I, I suggest follow me along. And uh, we've got some good news. We're going to be launching a new website pretty soon. And I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is, but I, I have an exclusive to the name. It's going to be a short, sweet name. And... Uh, I want to put all my videos from uh, the, this past year and I'm going to be editing them all and I'm going to do like a cooking segment on that channel as well on my new website and my new YouTube channel that I'll be launching and uh, so what I'm going to do is go back to all my videos and we'll figure out what I and what I ate that week to help me to lose weight and, and we'll, we're going to film the recipes and put them all up one at a time and just talk about each individual recipe and what might help me to lose weight that particular week. In addition, I'm doing a whole series on a walking and why you should be walking for exercise. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have a bad back and uh, it's, it's, it's a lot better. It's about 98% better as a matter of fact. I don't have any more back pain, but I just have to be careful in all my limitations. I started a new job. I love it. I don't want to leave it. And uh, Everything is going good. I just uh, life is good. What can I tell you? You know, this is why you have to get out there and get healthy. And uh, how I can't uh, run, I can't jog without hurting myself. And uh, so for me, walking was the better option and getting involved with a gym last October. And uh, as they say, the rest is history because I'm I'm down over 125 pounds now. And since. Um, my heaviest in my life that I've ever weighed was about 367 or 370. I lost well over 150 pounds since last year and the, and, the, and for the last couple of years. And, and I managed to keep it off and that's been a great accomplishment. And I can even fit into a medium shirt. So it's, it's, it's really, really been a pleasure helping you guys lose weight and thank you guys for supporting me and following me along. But enough of all that said, 
Let's go in the um, back room and uh, just follow me along and I'll put the, the uh, directions over the timeline as I create the uh, egg loaf with a little bit of background music and uh, enjoy. Peace. Love you guys. Okay, well, welcome back to the back room. So the uh, egg loaf is done. And look at how nicely that turned out. Uh, so what I did was I had a little bit of, uh, I over -cin I put too much cinnamon on the top of it and, and uh, it was all caked up on one spot. So I just took the knife and I swirled it around and made this cool pattern on it. And now I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna cut into it and plate it and then we're gonna have a little bite of it. And uh, cause I'm pressed for time this morning put our favorite maple syrup on it and then we'll eat the rest of it later and because uh, I'm doing the middle of the egg fast right now and the, uh, it's going really good but um, I didn't expect it to come out this great so we're going to cut it up into forts like this just like this and we're going to have a piece of it get out nice and nice and simple that comes out and let's see if I can move that out of the way without dropping that on my placemat. Look at how nice and uh, rate that piece off. So we're gonna put that over there on my plate. We're gonna put this uh, the egg loaf back in the kitchen. We're all done with that, guys. So this is what it looks like plated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of uh, maple syrup on it, and I'm using the uh, the Vermont. Uh, maple syrup it's, this is the uh, uh, sugar-free kind perfectly fine on keto I mean I know it's got some uh, erythritol in it some other ingredients that I can't pronounce but you know it's sugar-free it, you know I prefer the chalk zero but I don't have any right now they just pour like a little bit on there just like this very nice careful like And that's our final product. I'm going to give it the old taste test, but I want to grab a photograph of it first with my mobile camera. Okay, so when you just give you guys an example, it's kind of like custard. It is, I, actually, that's exactly what it uh, reminds me of, like a custard pie. 
Now, if you're trying to watch your waiter on Thanksgiving, you want some holiday uh, a, uh, to remind you of a custard pie. For those of you who love custard pie, those are very have a ton of sugar in them. I don't like the ones with the coast, coconut in them. And when I used to buy the custard pies traditionally for Thanksgiving and holidays, I used to uh, usually eat the whole pie by myself. I don't do that stuff no more. But there's a ton of calories in that, and, and uh, I'm sure somebody could figure out the carbs and the macros for this, but. But, uh, yeah, look at this, guys, okay? You know what? And this doesn't even taste eggy or anything like that. It does taste like custard pie. Uh, you could actually cheat a little bit and get a pie crust pan and just make this like a custard pie. And uh, so you can see you get all kinds of possibilities here. Um, this is So what I did was I baked this off at 350 degrees, and I... Uh, I baked it off for 30 minutes, and I checked it with the knife. That's why you had some, uh, looks like a knife cuts on top of the uh, the, uh, the egg loaf. And uh, I, I made it in a small brownie throwaway pan that I bought at Ocean State Job Law. I need to go back down there and pick up some more uh, pans for this Thanksgiving. But um, if you're doing an egg fast, I would highly recommend this. Other suggestions you can do. You could put um, vanilla extract in it or any kind of extract in there for the flavor. I've done that plenty of times. So this particular batch, I put uh, a couple of tablespoons eyeballing it of uh, cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg in it. And you can even um, slice these up and fry them on the frying pan and make it like a French toast style uh, egg loaf. I've done, I've done all of the above, but this is really, really good, guys. You really got to try this. So I, I would definitely give this a two thumbs up and uh, a five thumbs up if I had five thumbs. And uh, I'd be watching for more videos that I'll be doing over the course because uh, what, what I'm doing right now, I'm getting ready to launch a new website, but my uh, all my past videos, re-editing them all. And uh, what I want to do with that particular uh, website and, and the new YouTube channel and everything is just go over my uh, complete history of uh, when I started my weight loss journey and uh, kind of like uh, revisiting the past and uh, for a better future, I guess. And uh, the future is here. It's now. And uh, I'm so happy that I lost my weight. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll, I'll make some other videos as, we, as they get time. Our next video I'm going to be making is going to be a chicken crust pizza. So be watching for that video. Remember, you guys are amazing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And tell all your friends. And uh, let me know what you think about this recipe and this video. Remember, have a good day. Peace and love, guys. Enjoy your day.